Good to see you, Russell. It's good to see you, Adam. There's an awful lot of goodwill from English girls for you That here. felt good. Yeah. That was, uh, was soft and sweet, and thank you. <laughs> it was unplanned. That was just an impulsive move from that young lady. Is that, what's, your, what's your name? Ingrid. Ingrid? What an earth drove you <laughs> <laughs> to give in to your hormones in that fashion. <laughs> Overcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could have been a lot worse. Oh, you remain in your seat for the rest of the interview because, you know, there are security measures. These are dangerous times. <laughs> <laughs> Sit perfectly still. Thank you very much for coming, Adam. You are uh, here as a movie star yes, promoting sir. a movie that you have made. Yes, sir. I watched that movie. Good. Thanks a lot. I, I enjoyed it. It was an exciting movie. I think it's out of the pictures now because I saw it in a special capacity. Well, as you a were alone in a theatre? No, actually, Adam, I wasn't. I was there with a, a famous woman in this country called Sharon Osbourne, who you'll be aware oh, of. Oh, I've met Sharon Osbourne. Sharon Osbourne was in the very nice well. lady, absolutely. She, she, I've not met her, but she was there in the cinema and she was with um, some of her dogs. She brought, yeah, she got a lot of dogs. <laughs> a lot of dogs. Bulldogs, and, right? These oh, a couple bulldogs. Lap dogs. I oh, mean, yeah? the bulldogs weren't there. They were more those sort of dogs that are like this. <laughs> Those kind of <laughs> those kind of dogs, like snuffly dogs, with a lot of eye juice that would congeal. Ah, More of those type of dogs. Absolutely. When I, I entered a few minutes after Sharon, and uh, the dogs really barked aggressively, and it's like it was a really unnatural thing to happen when you enter a cinema to be barked at by a dog. <laughs> Didn't seem right somehow, huh? Dogs I, this, Minnie. I don't care about the names. <laughs> but Sharon is Osborne's dogs. Minnie is also a euphemism for vagina. And now I'm thinking about <laughs> Thank you very much when I'm interviewing Adam Sandler for making me think about vaginas. I apologise for that, Adam. I can't be held responsible for the workings of my own mind. Now, um, <laughs> like what I thought was interesting about that film Click is it's yes. one of them, what I like to call, a perennial barroom chat, isn't it? Like the, that idea, the concept of that's that true, film. That's true, that's true, right. It's one yeah. of the things you think about a lot. Will you explain to our audience of human beings? Yes. Uh, that concept, because it would sound better coming from you. Uh, the, uh, the concept of the movie, a man gets a remote control, can control his life, he can get past, like his, his, his wife is yelling at him, he gets to skip past that. If he, uh, sir, his boss is uh, giving him crap, he pauses him and smacks him around and comes back to reality. And uh, yeah, it is something that I've uh, fantasized having in real life before. Yes, I fantasized about it as well. But the scene that <laughs> most represented my fantasies was where you slowed down that jogging woman with nice boobs yeah. and made them <laughs> go more slowly. I think, had I had been in control of the remote control at that point, I may have paused it and committed a despicable act. <laughs> <laughs> that woman would have been wondering, have I been drinking milk? <laughs> oh, oh no, oh, nothing actually happens. Just language, just language, no actual event, no event has occurred. The world is the same, the world is the same. <laughs> If we had one of those remote controls now, Adam, we could rewind it. Oh, but you can't use it to change the past. That's right, just... yeah. There's rules in the movie that you can't change the past. But the, the pa uh, walk, Christopher Walken gives me the lay of the land and says you can't change the past, but you can something, something. There's a bunch of rules that, that my guy has to follow, but ultimately he learns that his life was pretty good. He it's didn't... good anyway, wasn't it, his yeah. life? The yeah. films, it reminds me of a bit, it reminds me a bit of Gremlins, because there's that magical yes. otherworldliness to yes. it. And it reminds me a bit of uh, Christmas Carol, the Kenzie yes, look yes. at your morality. Yeah. Shall we have a look at a clip of it? What, what the hell clip do we have? Adam, I wish I could tell you that I knew. We both are people, all right. It's let's... gonna be, like sometimes, right? I have to pretend there's a clip and there isn't even one. Right? We go, oh, let's have a look at a clip, and then we have to ask everyone in the audience to join. But I think today there is going to actually be a clip. So let's all fake. Moment. Let's fake a good time, everybody. For God's sake! Yeah. All right. Some of you may be groupies who I'll be sleeping with later, so <laughs> faking, <laughs> faking a good time is going to be a useful skill. Because I've, I've become a very selfish lover since I've been on telly. I just, I don't have the time. I really can't be bothered. <laughs> To lie around waiting for people to come. So shall we? Um, <laughs> shall we have a look at a clip of clips? Shall please. we have a look? Yeah! 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 Ah, uh, I remember this place. And, uh, oh my god. Wolverine's goofy cousin. But look at you. Wow. You are out of his league, aren't you? Oh. Yeah, new man. Get it? Yeah.
Linger by the Cranberries was playing during our first Juicy Kiss. And my God, you look beautiful in that pink sweater you're wearing. Honey, you remember what I was wearing? Mm. Uh, I love you. I love you too, honey.